Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. If you are, hit that like and subscribe button. Today, we are running Migra versus Federal. Migra being one of my new favorites after my pattern test I just picked up. Sadly, I picked it up at the end of season, so I won't get a chance to use it. But the pattern test looks awesome. I'm so excited for this. So, we're gonna pattern it against my one of my old favorites, Federal Speed Shock three shot three inch okay we're gonna go 20 yards 40 yards with both of these and here we go okay so here's the two shells we're running today be federal versus migra oh i think i got no nope, i got those both right side up yeah federal versus migra today okay pretty excited about this three shot two to four shot mix i've always been a really big fan of three shot in the past but here we go we're gonna try it out if you guys like these sweatshirts buck and duck sweatshirts hit me up in the comments below i'll hook you up so, we are running 20 gauge today. We're gonna shoot Federal up first and see how this goes. Okay guys, as per normal, hearing protection always, we are running the Weatherby Element 20 gauge with the Carlson's long range choke there. As is my favorite 20 gauge as of now. We're gonna start with these Federal Speed Shocks, three inch, three shots. Now one big difference here between the two is Federal is running at 1550 for feet per second and Migra is only running 1350. So it'll be interesting to see in this test if that changes the pattern. Now obviously you have shot string and other things that we're not going to be able to video with the camera we're using, but it is something I wonder about. So here we go. First shot, 20 yards. This is what she looks like. Now normally when I do these tests, the big difference I see is gonna be at 40 yards, not 20. But let's take a look what we got here. And already, this is one of the reasons I love Federal, is we only have a little bit of randoms. Good density here on the target. Now, I will say, is I might put that shot just a hair high as a possibility, but really excited to see what Migra does here. Okay, so we're getting ready to shoot the Migra out of the Weatherby Element 20 gauge, Carlson's long range choke. Now, this Weatherby has been awesome. If you guys like that buck and duck sticker, we now have sweatshirts, hoodies. You guys let me know in the comments below if you want one. Message me, I don't have anything else, websites or anything hooked up yet, but I will, I promise I will. So. Message me in the comments below. Tell me you want one. I'll get with you. Figure it out. So here we go. This is going to be the Migra. Migra. Will it be element 20 gauge? Put our hearing protection on here. Man, that looks really good from here. I'm uh, excited to see what it looks like up there, but I don't know if you guys can see that. But let's go take a look. That's pretty exciting. The first thoughts on the Migra is that was actually really, really good. And wow, that's, I mean, that's impressive right there. So here we are. This is our 20 yard target. And we've got a couple off the duck here, a couple high, really centered good in it. But, I mean, look at that density. And that's that, I think that's that two shot, four shot mix. You can see the difference in the BB holes down here lower versus like this up BB holes up higher. You know, right there, you see some different hole sizes. Ha! Huh. Wow. I don't know, Migra's pretty impressive. That was pretty good. So, 40 yards running first. We're gonna go with the Federal again. Three inch, three shot steel. These are their speed shocks. We got a range finder, we already made sure we're back at 40. We're gonna run the weather bee. Put that safety back on. Throw her in, load her up. Hearing protection on. If you guys are liking this, hit that thumbs up button, please. Please, it'll help me out a lot. These videos aren't cheap to do. You buy lots of shells, lots of targets, lots of time. So, here we go. Run our first shot. So 
So as we walk up here, do a little talk. I'm actually really excited to see what the difference between Federal and Migra is out at 40 yards. At 20 yards, Migra took the cake. Migra was better, which is very surprising to me because I haven't heard that much about them. You know, I'm just seeing passing, so we'll find out. So here we are, walking up on it. And, uh, yeah, like I thought, I'd pull that shot a little bit. I have to reshoot this one. Probably not, though, because we're not going to waste ammo. So, we've got a decent amount of pellets in the bird itself. And as we go through the, around the outside here, we've, as per 20 gauge, we have a little bit bigger spread here. And I am shooting just a hair high with this weather be still. Just kind of how I shoot it, you know? So, here we go. We'll run the migrant X, go from here. So as we're walking up here, I can already see way more BBs in the center. And that's really exciting because if I can get a hold of Migra, which is the key to this year of getting a hold of anything, that looks really, really good. I think it's the mix of shells. So here we go. First looks, the Migra, and it has just peppered. And there's actually a little bit of a hole gap there, but... That is impressive. It filled out, there's a little bit of a gap there, but as far as 20 gauge at 40 yards, wow. Wow, Migra for the win. That's awesome. Okay, so in this test today, we took our new favorite brand, Migra, and compared it to our, my old favorite for my 20 gauge, being the Federal three shot steel. And this is our 20 yard pattern. And you can see we've got our duck target off here. Now we've got quite a few good density here. This is a little bit high, but I mean, you guys can see there's quite a few shots in our duck size target. Now, this is only a 12 inch target, so it's not quite the size, obviously, but it's going to give you a good representation of what it would do. Very good density here. We have some stringing, but I think only found three shells outside of this 30 inch circle where we were aiming. Now we come over here to the Migra, and this is what I'm so super impressed with. This is one of the tightest patterns I've ever seen out of a 20 gauge. I mean, it is absolutely obliterated this stuff target. On top of, super good sectional density with almost no gaps. And it's even tighter than the three shot was. So we'll show you guys what 40 yard looks like. You guys can make your decision from there. Okay, so this is our 40 yard target and obviously 40 yards and 20 gauge is starting to push your limit but that's why we're running our long range Carlson's choke on this. You can see here, this, this actually rivals my 12 gauge for not quite pattern density, but as far as pattern in the center of the target, you can see we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I don't know if you can call it eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 on the immediate bird target, as well as we have a pretty decent spread. We have a big gap here, we have a gap here, so you're starting to really spread out. We have some stringing off to the side here. This is where Migra is moving to be probably my new favorite and probably what I'll go with all next year, unless something else seems to take the cake. Might even beat out Browning because, I mean, look at absolutely how crazy tight the density is here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32 shells on this immediate target. Not to mention a very, very good spread here. We've got one gap here and a little bit of baseball side gap here. That's all. There's two shells outside of the tar outside of our circle. That is really, really impressive. So this might be the new king of the 20 gauge, but we will see. Okay, this will be the last thing you guys see for this for the Federal versus Migra. Here we are. This is the Federal 20 yards density versus Migra 20 yards density. And then we've got, then we got Federal 40 yard density, Migra 40 yard density. You guys choose what you want, but ammo and prices are increasing. 
Migra is still there. Is there a little bit more spending than some of them, but not by much? I'm probably going to go with them unless something else happens to surprise me when we're going out here. For an all steel load, I think that's the one to go with. You guys let me know in the comments below what you think. Hit that like and subscribe button. We'll catch you on the next one.